History textbooks have been a controversial topic here in Korea since the government announced its plan to retake control of the process. After gathering opinions and conducting a thorough review, the final version has been released. Kim Hye-sung -sung outlined some of the changes made. The Education Ministry unveiled the final version of its state-authored history textbook Tuesday amid an ongoing debate over its interpretation of modern history. Last November, we posted a draft of the textbook online in order to collect public opinion, and after a thorough review, we reflected some of the opinions in the final version. One of the major changes is the inclusion of the limitations of the late President Park Jong-hee's Semal Undong movement, an initiative that played a big role in modernizing Korea's rural economy in the 1970s. There are also more details on Japan's colonial rule over Korea, including its wartime sexual slavery. As for the contentious issue of whether to mark August 15, 1948 as the foundation date of the Republic of Korea or the government, the Education Ministry said it will describe it as the foundation date. Progressive historians have long said that this view downplays the significance of independence movements that took place under the Japanese colonization of Korea, as well as the establishment of Korea's provincial government in Shanghai in 1919. To reflect the various opinions on the subject, the Education Ministry said that starting in 2018, schools can use either description of the date. More specifically, it said schools will be able to use either the new state-authored textbooks or textbooks written by private publishers, and that the latter could contain either description of August 15th. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.